Hello, I'm Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. Today, we're talking veneer. I have a feeling that it's a common question because it is one of my number one YouTube videos, how to deal with veneer. So, and I have a piece that I found with lots of veneer issues. So we're gonna take a look and I'll show you how I fixed it and what it turned out like. Many people, when you're out junking or finding treasures, one of the biggest problems you're gonna encounter is gross veneer. A lot of times people pass on the pieces, but fixing the veneer, especially if you're gonna repaint the piece, is a pretty simple process, just takes a little bit of patience. Let's get started. This piece was a curbside treasure. That means it was free. How could I pass it up? And it looked like the top was absolutely perfect for me. Of course, there's veneer damage, but it's an easy fix, and it's a great piece to save. For this project, you're gonna need a few tools. You will need an old iron. This iron, once you use it for this project, you will never be able to use it to iron clothes again. I usually pick mine up at a thrift store or a garage sale. You also will need a paint scraper and an old towel. The towel may not be usable again, so keep that in mind. After you've washed down your piece, the first step is to scrape away any of the loose veneer. Get as much off as you can easily get off. If it's sticking, then stop. You'll be ready for your next step. For the next step, grab your veneer iron, fill it up with water, also grab an old towel and soak it. Wring it out so it's not dripping but really still is quite wet. Clear the area you're going to work on, put your towel down, and then set your iron on with the highest setting. Make sure you also have steam setting and just leave it there for a while. Work in a small section at a time. You can rotate the iron around too and check it every once in a while. If your veneer comes off easily, then remove as much as you can and then set back down the iron. You do need to work quickly. The glue will loosen up from the heat, but as it cools down, it will harden up again. If you're noticing it's really tricky and not coming up, it's time for some more heat and some more moisture. I like to keep an iron on the piece in another section while I'm clearing the previous section. That makes things move a little bit faster. Once again, if it's not removing quickly, then you need to put the iron back on it and let it set. When you're removing veneer, I kind of want to show you what you'll find underneath. So there's the top layer of the pretty veneer that they put down that is normally stained a color. Underneath it is a not so good wood that they put down so that it is a smooth surface to apply the glue for the veneer. And underneath that is usually kind of the crappy wood that they put down, the absolute base wood. If you can only remove the top layer of veneer, it's best, but sometimes, like with this piece, the other layer underneath will come up. Don't worry, there's ways to patch it, but keep in mind the very bottom layer 
might have holes, knots, and some damage that you will have to patch. Another thing you'll notice as you're moving the veneer is there will be some sections that aren't going to come up as easily. That's because the glue is stronger in those areas. All you have to do is put back down your towel and your iron and let it set. It should remove easily. If it's not, maybe you need a little bit more water or you need to fill up your iron. Just give it time. I have to be honest, removing veneer is not my favorite job, but usually the pieces with bad veneer are the cheapest, so it's worth putting a little extra effort in. When you put the wet towel and the iron on the veneer, you will notice a color change. Don't worry about it, it just means the glue underneath will be loosening up. Maybe when you're removing your veneer, you can get help from your kids. When my daughter found out what I was doing, she had to give it a try, and she really enjoyed it and called it very satisfying. Right here is where it's wet. Do you see how the color is different? Yeah, you got a harder section. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Soon she was a natural. I even showed her how to pull up the second layer underneath the pretty veneer. All you do is put back down that towel and the iron and the layer will come up. While my daughter was working, the second layer under the veneer was also coming up quite easily. Remember, there's only three layers, so as you're removing that second layer, be careful not to gouge the wood. We did it a few times, no biggie. We will be able to cover it up, but really keep an eye on your paint scraper. The veneer's been removed and there's still some sticky glue left behind. You're also going to notice that base wood is going to have splits and there was even tape holding two of the pieces together. So the next step is to use some Dawn dish soap and water and scrub everything down really well. Make sure to remove any leftover pieces of veneer and allow it to dry. The next step is to give it a good sanding. Since I am working indoors, I'm using my detail sander and 120 grit sandpaper, but if I was outdoors, I would be using my orbital sander. Since I couldn't get that piece of tape off while I was washing down the piece, the sander did a really good job of removing it. After sanding, make sure to dust your surface really well. The next step is to patch. For larger holes, I like to use a mixture 
of wood glue and sawdust. I'm using Tight Bond 2 wood glue for this, and that really helps to fill in the cracks well, a little bit better than spackle. For the rest of the smaller holes, I'm going to be using just regular wall spackle to fill in all the holes, and then I will sand everything lightly with the 120 grit sandpaper. After you've removed all the sawdust, now it's time to get painting. For this project, I'm going to use DIY paint in letterpress gray. DIY paint is all natural clay based paint. To purchase your own DIY paint and a whole bunch of other items to help you with your project, you can shop my online store at shoptheturnedleg.com or if you are local, you can visit my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. I love DIY paint for its amazing coverage. This is the first coat. Obviously, I'll need one more till it's complete, but it's looking good. I really had hoped to have a glamour shot of the finished piece for this video, but it wasn't going to happen. Life got in the way. So I will tell you I will continue painting, and then I will be posting pictures of this piece on my Facebook page and Instagram. So watch for it. Here are a few other pieces I've done that had bad veneer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this video will help you now take a second look at all those pieces with bad veneer. It's really not that hard to fix them. You just need a little patience and of course, an old iron. If you like this video, take a second please to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me to continue to make more videos to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create.